YouTube, welcome back to another 3ds Max video tutorial by the help you need. And in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and finish up the uh, Colt 45 as far as modeling goes. Um, so, okay, and then let's go ahead and now, we finished up the handle last time. And uh, I just marked everything besides this a different color. So you can see that's black, this is just a regular gray, and so is that. Uh, that's just so that way you guys can see a little bit of uh, where everything is and how it's all set up. Alright, um, okay, so let's go ahead now and we're going to hide selection. So right click hide selection. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this uh, right here. Now there are two ways to do this. One way is with a plane. You can go ahead and make a plane that looks exactly like this. But, um... That'd be pretty useless in our case. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a line, and we're just gonna trace the uh, the gun here. So okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is now we're going to uh, finish uh, fix up anything that doesn't look right. So just come into the modifiers choose vertex and let's check out the insides here so expand the whole viewport and this needs to be moved over just a tiny bit and this does as well all right uh let's see let's go ahead and move this over just a tiny bit as well and that looks good all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here change it from line 03 to uh grip and now uh, extrude it. <coughs> okay. And zero is not enough in the amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come into our perspective view here. We're just going to uh, kind of guess at where we want it. Uh, I would guess probably about four would be good. Let's check that out. Yeah, that looks nice. <coughs> So about four is what we want, and now we're going to convert it to an editable poly. And after that, what we're going to do now is we're just going to bevel the inside up. Uh, well, first let's come to the back here, and we're going to select this and delete it. So we just get rid of an extra polygon. Alright, and now again we're just going to bevel. Alright, uh, now for you guys that are making games and stuff, uh, this might work. But sometimes in uh, some game engines, it really doesn't like it if uh, these lines are not connected. So what you may, may want to do is you may want to connect vertices um, just like this all the way around your uh, object. You might want to select the inside vertices. Um, so right here, right here we'll say, and just go through and just connect them all like this. Uh, I would suggest not having uh, very many triangles because triangles tend to mess with your mesh sometimes but um, that's just for you game artists out there uh, but this might be fine I would just go ahead and test it first and then if it doesn't work go ahead and uh, attach it like that all right now what we gotta do is we gotta uh, pull this backwards on just a tiny bit I will pull it out about that far and unhide all Oops. I'll hide all. Okay. Uh, so let's come back a little bit farther. What about there? So that way you see it's uh, coming off a little bit, but not too much. All right. Now we get to do the uh, so-called fun part here and uh, move this around. So that way it kind of curves around the uh, shape of the gun right there. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to select these vertices here and these ones down here. Pull them halfway, or at least about halfway, through the gun, and then we're going to pull them all out. Alright, so, there, okay. <coughs> now comes the, uh, the fun part again, we get to hide everything. So I'm just going to select and then hide. Okay, and now what we get to do is we get to pull these uh, back to where they originally were. We'll leave some of them. So let's come through here. We're going to select that one. We're going to pull it. Alright. We'll select 
this one. We're going to pull just a little bit right about there. I'm looking at my top viewport to know exactly where I want it to be. All right, and now we got to select these vertices. So let's go select that one. Pull this one, make it even. A little bit curved. This one, same thing. And the other one's fine. All right, and now we're going to unhide all and see how it looks. Okay. Uh, now there's a little bit of uh, problems here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to alleviate these problems by uh, moving this back. All right, we want to move this back to then. Okay, and then we can move this this way. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. This way and move it this way. rest of it looks like it's going to be fine. Check down here. Now we're just going to move around some vertices to make them look right. So, let's see. Can't find them in this mesh. Alright, these. I guess they're fine where they are. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. All right. All we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get it about as close as we can uh, to the actual gun here, so. All right. Now we don't wanna alt X anything. Still basically the same thing, but you want a little bit apart from the gun so that way you can tell that it's the end of the uh, the grip. So pull that out. Looks like this. All right. That looks pretty much right for the most part, at least. Um, go ahead and move this up, though. Select all everything that's right there. Let's move it up. That's about uh that's about good I think. Uh, well maybe move this down just a tiny bit. Move it over. That's good. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a symmetry modifier. So symmetry. So we have the As you can see, you now have a grip for your gun. Okay. Oops. But you can fix up these parts real quick if you want to. Um, I'm just going to just for aesthetic reasons. So. That's about as good as we're going to get for now, uh, and I think that's about all we can do for this tutorial, so we got the grip done. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish up all the details for the gun, and uh, that'll probably be it. Alright, hope to see you guys in the next video.